नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम गुरव गौरचंद्राय राधिका सदाए कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो तवैवास्मे तवैवास्मे न जीवा कया बिना टुडे और गोवर्धन पूजा गौ पूजा ब्राह्मण पूजा गुरु पूजा और वेरी गुड प्रोसेस वी डिड एंड अबाउट एट फिफ्टी और मोर देन दैट सो मेनी प्रिपरेशन फॉर ऑफर टू हिम एंड वी प्रे टू गोवर्धन that you should give me place in your lotus feet and please be sprinkle your mercy that we can be the radha dashi in goswami books it has been written that if anyone does parikrama of govardhan then govardhan follows him and if he knows anyhow that he wants wealth beautiful wife beautiful husband beautiful son or very easily he can be but anyone uh, bhav concealing not telling anything then whole parikrama he follows him and anyhow he knows oh she, he wants to be oh palya dasi of raj then he also can give he gives so all the brajvasi or krishna was supreme lord but for his welfare they used to pray to govardhan oh govardhan maharaj you should take all the suffering and all the problems of krishna and save krishna so even brajvasi if they desire anything they go to govardhan and thousands and thousands and lakhs and lakhs devotees come to do parikrama as a garland not breaking anywhere and they do parikrama especially on the guru purnima that is the disappearance of sanatan goswami Oh, oh, more than lakhs and lakhs, no number, twenty lakhs of devotees from different parts of India. They come and they do parikrama. So, Govardhan is very merciful. He should anyhow fulfill our desire. we are discussing about sanatan shiksha huh? yesterday we were going to glorify the qualities of krishna and he is karan of karan all karan and there are four 
special qualities, Madhurya, in Krishna, which is not any another form, even Ram and others. So we discuss now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu telling, or oh, it is so vast that we cannot finish in so many days, 10 days, 15 days. But very quickly, in brief, we are going on. Advaigyan Krishna, Shrine Bhavan. So that very Prajandarandan is Advaigyan. How Advaigyan? You should. Agyana Timeram Nasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chakshur Unmritam Yena Tasmai Sri Guru Vena Maha Vancha Kalpa Tarupya Spyakripa Sindhu Bevacha Patitanam Pavanekyo Vaishnavetya Namaha First of all, I offer my humble obeisances, unlimited thanks unto the lotus feet of my spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pada Paramahansa Parivrakacharya Ashtapata Sri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Sila Narayan Goswami Maharaj. I also offer my humble obeisances unto all the Acharyas in the line of Srila Rupa Goswami, yeah, who have so kindly bestowed upon all the living entities, this Gauravani message, the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I also offer my humble obeisances unto all the Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, guests present here, headed by the PhD sannyasi and three Dandi sannyasis. Yeah. I beg for their mercy that they help me with anything I cannot properly explain. Sri Guru Dev has ordered me to speak something about Advaigyan Parasattva. So we've been hearing the last few days how Sri Rupa Goswami received the instructions about Avideya Sambandha Tattva, Avideya Tattva, and also later on, Sri Yajan Tattva. And how Mahaprabhu, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu blessed him with this phenomenal knowledge, yeah, which we are hearing, it cannot be described, it is unfathomable. The ocean of Krishna's pastimes, his qualities. Even Ananta says, with his unlimited mouth, he is continually glorifying the qualities and pastimes of Krishna, he cannot find the end. So what to speak, yeah, but we can comprehend something. Only by the mercy of Sri Guru, yeah, we can understand and realize some very little, tiny drop of this unfathomable ocean yeah, of transcendental knowledge and happiness, bliss. So this is uh, the special uh, example that we find here, how Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his relationship with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, how he surrendered completely. Yeah, we've heard that. And now Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu benedicting him with his transcendental knowledge. So this is the proper qualification to develop our bhakti, unconditional surrender to Sri Guru. All Shastras are describing this. If we do that, then our bhakti will manifest. Unless we do that, we aim for that, we try for that, we give our whole energy for that, we cannot progress in bhakti. And mercifully, by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's kindness, he has manifested the association of sadhus in which we can always improve ourselves. Yeah. So I pray for the mercy of all the Vaishnavas, that they always be kind upon me and help me to progress little by little.
Sadvaigyan Paratattva. In Srimad Bhagavatam Sitani Charitam Vita is described. Vadanti Sat Vadanti Tat Tatva Vida Tatvam Yatyanam Advayam Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagavan is Sadhyate. I got it right. So, the Supreme Personality of Godhead is non-dual. He is always existing in three different features. Brahma, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. So that Supreme Personality of Godhead is non-different. We have heard yesterday, He is the original Supreme Source of all manifestations of Godhead. All manifestations, all incarnations, all Energies are manifesting from Brajendananda and Sri Krishna. Ishvara Paramakrishna Satsit Ananda Vigraha Anadiradi Govina Sarasakarana Karana. But Brahma himself is making this very clear yeah, that the supreme origin of everything is Sri Krishna, Brajendananda Sri Krishna. So, this particular definition of the non dual absolute truth. Is very beautifully explained by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Sri Rupa Goswami. So there are two prayers which all Vaishnavas who claim to be followers of the line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they should know very well, which describes very minutely in detail this Advai Gyan Paratattva. This is the Dashmula Shloka. Yeah, which describes all the different aspects of Sambandha, Avideya and Prayodhyan. Amnai Praha Tattvam Harimiha Paramam Sarva Shaktim Rasavdim Tat Vibhinam Samsa Divam Prakritim Kavalitam Tat Vibhinam Samsa Sabhavet Veda Veda Prakasamaki Sakalamati Hari Sadhuna Sudhavaktim Satyam Tat Priti Eviti Yanam Gaura Chandra Sayamsa. Okay, almost. <laughs> Thank you. So this is uh, the explanation which is given by our Shri Bhakti Vinotaku Dashmula and this is the concise definition of Gauravani in Tattva Vichar. Yeah, the concept of how we can understand that Hari is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, yeah, Sri Brajendanamana Sri Krishna. This is accepted, this praman by all the Vedas and all our previous Acharyas. So this Supreme Personality of Godhead is Hari, yeah, and the Anai Brahatat from Hari, Paramam, Sarava Shakti, all energies manifest from Him. Yeah, we have heard about the energies in the Chit Yagat, and we have heard about the energies in the Yada Yagat, yeah, what we are seeing here, the material universe, the Tatashta Shakti. There is unlimited energies, but the three main energies, yeah. Jiva Shakti, Maya Shakti, and Chit Shakti, they all manifest from the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. Moreover, yeah, Sri Krishna is the ocean of transcendental ras, yeah, mellows, exchanges of love and affection. Yeah. He's always sinking in that ocean. We have heard yesterday from Srila Gurudev himself how by Krishna's extraordinary qualities, Lila Madhuri, Rupa Madhuri, Venu Madhuri, and Premi Madhuri, yeah, the sweetness of his fruit playing, the sweetness of his form, yeah, which consists of 24 and a half beautiful moons yeah, describe that Krishna is so beautiful that his body is like the throne on which the full moon of his face, the most beautiful moon is situated and his fingers, nails, they are 10 different moons and they play with the flute, yeah, beautiful sounds manifesting and his Toenails, his feet are dancing so beautifully. Yeah. These moons that by the jingling of the ankle bells, a beautiful sound is produced by which the whole 
all living entities, the whole universe is completely attracted and completely at odds. So then, Krishna has the beautiful eyebrows yeah, by which he is shooting arrows yeah, with his glances, especially his sidelong glances. If he looks at anyone, then that person is finished. Yeah. <laughs> so Krishna is so beautiful, we have heard yesterday. And he's always sinking in the ocean of transcendental ras with all his parikars, especially in Sri Braja. In Brajidam, the most munificent exposition, manifestation of Ras is present there. This is Mahaprabhu explaining this so beautifully to Sanatana Goswami that he completely sinks in ecstasy when he starts to describe the moods of the Brajabhasis, especially Gopis and especially Srimati Radhika. Moreover, this non-dual absolute truth, Sri Krishna, from him manifest the living entities. Some are from time immemorial conditioned souls, yeah. Nitya Bada, and some are liberated souls. Yeah. Those who are conditioned souls, they are always bewildered by the material energy. Now, this is our position. This material energy is so powerful. We've heard yesterday and day before how this is Krishna's divine energy, Daiji Yesa Bunamaya. Yeah, how to overcome it? Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, only if you surrender to me. And what is that process of surrendering? This is called Avideya. Yeah. That is the process yeah, which in Dashmula is ex explained as Sadhanam Sudha Bhakti. Before that, uh, the last part of Abhideya Tattva is described that all Krishna's energies, this Sitya God and all the living entities, in this Yadi Yagat, where all the Bada Jeeves are manifesting, they are all non different from Krishna, at the same time they are different. Achintya Bede Veda Tattva. This is inconceivable. It cannot be conceived by our mental speculation, imagination, but it is eternal, non dual truth. So these are all ingredients from some, from the Sambandha Tattva element. Then the Abhideya starts when we try to understand and surrender, accept the process of Sudha Bhakti. Then what will be the result if we accept that process wholeheartedly? Surrender to Sri Guru, Guru Shu Shushriya Bhakta, Sarva Aradhanena Cha. Sangena Sadhu Bhaktanam Ishvara Aradhanena Cha Sarada Vakta Arpanena Cha Sri Gurudev, yeah, if we have that great fortune, Brahmanda Brahmite Koni Bhagavanji, we are wandering in this material universe for unlimited births. If by great good fortune we come in the human form of life, and by Krishna's cautious mercy, he has made any device that we come in contact with a pure devotee, then so fortunate we are if we become inspired by that association hearing from the pure devotee, trying to serve him, trying to please him, if in our heart we become inspired to fully surrender to him, then Yashadeva Parabhakti Yata Deve Tata Guru. By his mercy, all the truths of the Vedic literatures, the essence, the conclusion will be manifested within our heart. So this is the great reward Mahaprabhu is telling. We heard yesterday, this Prema Bhakti, this Braji Bhakti, this is the inheritance for all living entities. We are thinking that we have something to look for in this world. Yeah? Sense gratification, some position, some honor, some prestige. Look how important I am, yeah? but little do we know if we accept the humble position of being completely sold out to Sri Guru, then only we will be able to obtain that highest goal, treasure, Raja Bhakti, yeah? which is right there if we apply ourselves. Gurudev, I am yours. Krishna, I am yours. Yeah? 
I am full of faults, as we have just sung. I have no good qualities, but I am yours. So you look after me. So this is the definition of Dashmula, Tapfa. Then the other shloka, prayer, yeah, which we should all know, yeah, which is describing the Rasvichar. Yeah. Aradhyo Bhagavan, Vrajesa Saniyata Dhamma Vrindavanam, Ramya Kasti Tupasana Prajivadu Bhagene Yakalpita, Srimad Bhagavatam Pramanam Analam Prema Prumarto Mahan, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matamitam Trapya Satradhyo Naparaha. Yeah. Who is that supreme, absolute truth? Rajendranandana Sri Krishna. Aradhyo Bhagavan, he is to be worshipped. Yeah. And how is he worshipped? With his devotees. Yeah. By taking shelter of his devotees, we can learn how to properly worship Rajendranandana Sri Krishna. His dham is equally worshipable. Yeah. Raja dham, Navadvip dham. Yeah. All the eternal abodes of Sri Krishna, they are non-different from him. They are equally worshipable. His associates. Yeah. Moreover, especially we should aspire to follow in the footsteps of the Vradivadu Vagena Yakalpita. Yeah. Those who are yeah, in the mood of Paramur with Sri Krishna. This is a very confidential secret. Yeah. This Paramur, Parakya mood. Yeah. This is all part of the absolute non-dual truth. Yeah. It is an intrinsic part of his existence. And we as living entities, we have the opportunity to participate in that and give the highest pleasure. Not only that, yeah? It is described in Shastra. By this, we are able to conquer Krishna if we develop this Vraja mood of the Parekya Ras under the guidance of Sri Guru and his eternal associates. So what is the evidence? Yeah? Srimad Bhagavatam Pramanam. Prema Pumarto Mahan. This is the highest benefit. This is the fifth and last goal of our existence in this eternal yeah, manifestation, Krishna's manifestation. To develop that pain yeah, which is able to conquer and control even Sri Krishna. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come to establish this and to understand uh, the, these teachings of Mahaprabhu, the descriptions of the non-dual absolute truth, yeah, of Sambandha Tattva, Vidaya Tattva, and Prayodhyam Tattva. Yeah. If we can imbibe that, then we can preach and distribute this message all over the world and make everybody fortunate. Vancha Kalpa Tarupya Sapripa Sanadeva Sapripa Sanadeva Sapripa Sanadeva Sapripa Sanadeva Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the end told that only bhakti is sadhana to please Krishna, nothing else. No gyan, no karma, no job, no tapasya and other means. And if gyan gives mukti, but he cannot. Only with the help of bhakti he can do. And karma also, only by the help of bhakti. Yoga even cannot give any fruit, only by the help of bhakti. So pure bhakti is avidheya. Now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tell you, Nitya Krishna Das Jeeva Taha Bholi Gela 
यही दोष है माया सारे संसार जीव इज चित चिंतमेंट हैविंग नॉलेज बट दैट नॉलेज इज मैन्यूट वन जी दैट इज यू कैन फॉरगेट ऑफ सज्जन महाराज यू शुड एक्सप्लेन महापुरुष
the realm of Vrindavan Dham, our eternal home, our eternal shelter. When that transcendental sound vibration enters into our ears, it'll conquer the activities of our mind, it'll conquer our heart's uh, decrepit condition that we've assumed due to our false identification with this world. I remember 11 years ago, my first time coming in contact with Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. And he has spoken that before I came, I was like a dead man. <clears throat> when we take shelter of the pure devotee and we follow this instruction, then we get a taste for that which we're always anxious. Every single person, every single person in this room is anxious for what? Peace, love, happiness at every moment. None of us woke up this morning in, uh, planning some endangerment, planning some misery to happen to us. So Sanatana Goswami asked, Hey Ami, who am I? Why are these miseries happening? I don't ask for them. Why are they coming? And how can I follow a process to relieve, be relieved from this situation? So now we're hearing the instructions by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, Sambandha Abhideya and Prayojan Tattvas. Sambandha, our relationship, who we are. This body is temporary. Our soul is eternal. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prema Saju Kabe Nai. Shravana Dasuda Chitti Kare Dai. Every single soul is completely pure, full of knowledge, bliss, Satchitananda, Vigraha. Huh? Completely perfect and pure in love. But we're covered in this uh, material covering. Now we can, by hearing the hearing process from the pure devotee, we can awaken our dormant understanding of our real existence and practice this knowledge, Abhideya Tattva. Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smarnam Parasevanam Archanam Banam Dasyam Satyam Atmani Nedanam. The nine process of devotional service to, to free us from this conditioning ignorance that was so deeply sunk. Mahaprabhu is calling Jeev Jago, Jeev Jago, Jeev Jago. Gora Chandra Bole, he's crying out. Kotranida Jaramaya, Pishta Chirakore, you're sleeping in the lap of Witch of Maya. We're going, undergoing thro so many sufferings. We're not meant to be in this temporary conditioned state of existence. These pleasures that we're hankering for are giving us misery. So many different misconceptions of what will bring us happiness. This hearing process will awaken us to our real happiness in this world. Mahaprabhu, mm, uh, the most merciful avatar, has come to kindly give us this knowledge and made it very simple. Who can be a very who can be the greatest teacher of the process of how to love God? And if God comes here himself and says, here's how you do it. Chant my name. Hear and uh, try to absorb yourself in the transcendental pastimes of Radha and Krishna. Mm. So this is a wonderful opportunity that we have. Uh, we're all very fortunate to be in the association of such a uh, great and divine personality. A resident from that abode, an eternal associate of Radha and Krishna, in our midst, uh, he appears to be like an ordinary entity <laughs> to the mundane vision. He's giving so much transcendental. He's one. I remember in uh, Karti this year the, or the year before last, it was so wonderful and sweet. Where they said, "I have only come here to take you to that abode, Sri Vrindavan." A wonderful, pure, beautiful atmosphere. Radha and Krishna's eternal loving pastimes. But first you have to know what's going on there. So I am telling you, uh, giving you this Harikata, bringing you to the Holy Dham. This atmosphere is not Badger, California. It's new bride. Around these pure devotees is Sri Vrindavan Dham. Thank you. <laughs> Krishna is so merciful. There is no comparison. How Putna came to kill him and he gave like Madhatri Uchitagati, like Mother position. Also, if anyone having any worldly desire, 
इफ द डू भजन ऑफ कृष्ण कृष्ण थिंक दैट दिस मैन इज फुलिश ही सर्विंग मी एंड ही वांट्स ओनली वर्ल्डली हैप्पीनेस लाइक पॉइजन he wants sense gratification he wants a very beautiful wife beautiful husband beautiful son but they don't know that they cannot give any happiness so i am not foolish i am very wise i should give him anyhow happiness should the bhakti i should must give him how you know dhru maharaj he did very hard austerity huh? without eating drinking without taking wedding and for what for kingdom but krishna uh, narayan gave his darshan that is krishna and by seeing him all desire went and then even narayan told oh you desire so so for 16 is 36000 years you will be here and with whole kingdom of whole world and after that you will have pure bhakti and then in a dhruv lok you will go so he had told himself kasan vichinna nafi i wanted these things but krishna is so merciful now i don't want anything but krishna narayan told oh you must have to eh? enjoy this enjoy this kingdom so and after that he gave up all this so if anyone worshiping krishna oh krishna is so merciful that he gets sadhu sang hmm? so it has been told sadhu sang sadhu sang sarva shastre ko hai lo matre sadhu sang sarva siddhi lo matra even one once vishwamitra and vasishta were quarreling who are uh, prominent prominent uh, and then they went to sheshnag sankarsan and they asked when within we who is superior then he told oh let me take rest take for a moment my this burden of whole universe you and then i will speak <laughs> then he called vishamit you should take for a moment but he could not <laughs> and then with, he called vasishta <laughs> vishamit told that what i have done authorities all is sort come here and take the burden of and basis came and he told if i have done any sadhu sang only one moment of sadhu sang i am giving <laughs> and at once it was said then vishamit told now you should decide or oh, it has been decided nothing to decide <laughs> only by the sang of one moment of sadhu they can change your direction of our heart and mind lack and lack by sadhu sang has been changed like demons prahlad by the sang of nargiri eh valmiki shivaj dakai by the sang of nargiri and even uh, monkeys monkeys bears hanuman and others 
and even uh, all dear everything they were changed by sadhu uh, Raghunath Das Goswami by the son of Haridas Thakur. Jagai Madhai. Oh. He killed, he wanted to uh, broke the head, but even he did. So anyhow, any relation with Krishna, whether it may be enemical or friendly, Anyhow, that relation should be there, and at once he will change the mood, and he will be a pure devotee. Hmm. Then, this bhakti first comes in the heart by the sadhu sangha, eh? and it comes as a sadha, oh, sa samrani. Sattavan Jan and Bhakti Adhikari Uttam Madhyam. Sixty Oma Gyanam Timirandasya Gyanam Jana Shavakaya Chaksurandali Tam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurudeva Srila Gurudeva has ordered me to uh, continue the discussion of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu on the topic of the process of devotional service. Mahaprabhu has been teaching Srila Sanatana Goswami in this chapter, chapter 22, about the, not only the superiority of bhakti over any other process, but that no other process without the touch of bhakti can give liberation from material bondage. Then uh, Gurudev began Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's explanation of the importance of the association of sadhus. First, that if one has even material desires, and he only wants to satisfy his own senses. But if he contacts Krishna and the pure devotee, then Krishna thinks, he's foolish, but I'm not so foolish. So I'll deal with him in such a way that his material desires go away and that he'll only want me. So now, uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is beginning the uh, gradual process of devotional service from Shraddha. And he says, a faithful devotee is a truly eligible candidate for the loving service of the Lord. According to one's faith, he's classified as a beginner or a neophyte or an intermediate or an advanced devotee. So now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is describing the Kanista Adhikari, the Madhima Adhikari, and the Uttama Adhikari. He says that all the three are based on faith. The Kanista Arakari's faith is komo, or very soft and pliable. It can easily be broken by bad association or by arguments against bhakti. The intermediate devotee, the Madhima Arakari, his faith is very strong. He may not be so advanced in full knowledge of the Shastra, but his faith is generally not broken. And he's very fortunate because he has a great taste for chanting the holy name of the Lord and he's always engaged in such chanting. He cannot, however, uh, free his followers from all doubts in relation to bhakti. The Uttama Adhikari has full faith and he can free others from all doubts. He has full knowledge of all scriptural conclusions. Full knowledge means not only intellectual knowledge, but actually realized knowledge. As Sanyati Thakur inquired from um, his spiritual master in Jaiva Dharma, O Gurudev, 
I want to know from you. I don't want to know only intellectually, but I want to realize because I'm not satisfied just by intellectual knowledge. So the Uttama Adhikari, the first class devotee, is situated in full faith because he actually has experience of the Lord and he's actually able to give that experience to others. The uh, symptoms of these three kinds of devotees are also described in the 11th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. The person who is advanced in Uttama Bhakti, he sees everything in relation to the Lord, everything within the Lord, and the Lord within everything. Whether he sees animate objects, or insects, or humans, animals, or whether he sees inanimate objects, like trees or rocks, he sees the Supreme Lord present there. He sees the Lord, and because the Lord is adored again, Paratattva, he sees that this is the Lord's material energy, covering the Lord's uh, marginal energy, the living entity, and the Lord himself is there in the form of Paramatma in every atom, making that object work. As Paramatma, speaking in the heart of every living entity, controlling his forgetfulness and his remembrance. So he sees Krishna everywhere, and he sees everything in Krishna. And that is why when Hiranyakashipu asked his son Prahlad, where is your God? And Prahlad said, oh, my God is everywhere. Oh, is he in that pillar? Prahlad Maharaj saw him peeping out of the pillar because he sees him everywhere. Yes, he's in the pillar. So then Shikana Mahaprabhu is explaining further the Prakrita um, Bhakta, the materialistic devotee who uh, sees the Lord and the deity, but he doesn't see the Lord in other living entities. And Lord Kapiladev says in the Srimad Bhagavatam, in his teaching to his mother, that anyone who worships me in the form of the deity, but does not see me in the heart of all living entities, his worship of me is just like throwing uh, the grains into the ashes instead of the fire. So he doesn't get the result of worshiping, worshiping me if he doesn't show compassion to all living beings. So then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is proceeding to explain the qualities of the pure devotee, humble, tolerant, and so many other wonderful qualities. <coughs> but you could not tell Shastra Yukta Shunupin. Why not? Explain all these things. That he has full but knowledge. One who is expert in logic and understanding of revealed scriptures and who always has firm conviction and deep faith that is not blind is to be considered the topmost devotee in devotional service. And this verse was later on quoted by Srila Rupa Goswami in his Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. He's beyond worshipping the Lord by logic, that is, logic and argument. But what is Madhama Adhikari? Madhama Adhikari is not so expert in the logic and argument that is presented in the revealed scriptures, but he has firm faith. And when he hears arguments against bhakti, although he may not be able to defeat those arguments, he himself is not derailed from his determination in bhakti. He also is not able to uh, relieve the doubts of all others, but he himself has a great taste in chanting the holy name of the Lord, and therefore he's considered very, very fortunate. The Uttama Adhikari has realized knowledge of the scriptures. That is, he actually experiences Krishna on the pages of the scriptures. He actually has, he has faith that's not blind. That means that he can actually see Krishna face to face. There are different levels of Uttama Adhikari, just like Narada Muni in his first carrier, when he was in Bhava Bhakti, and he experienced the Lord just for a moment, and then the Lord disappeared, and he was feeling separation from him. 
and then in his uh, real life when he reached Prem, then he was able to see Krishna everywhere at all times. So the Uttama Adhikari has faith that is not blind. That means he has full conviction that Krishna is everywhere because he sees him. So the word used is Shraddhavan, means one who is possessing faith. So one can determine the eligibility of the devotee, whether he's a Kanista Adhikari or a Madhyama Adhikari or an Uttama Adhikari by his level of faith. Thank you. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has told another three symptoms that who are chanting always Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, they are Kanishtha Vaishnava. And those who are chanting always without any stop, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare, Hare Ram, they are Madhyama Adhikari. And by seeing them, if automatically in our turn comes Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, oh, then he is, must be Uttam Adhikari. So, we see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when went to forest, going to Vrindavan in the way Jhari Khanda. Oh. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all beasts, all animals, tigers and bears and elephants also. Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. <laughs> that though Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not Uttam Adhikari, he is himself Supreme Lord, but he was playing the role of a Uttam Adhikari. So, he has given a Shastra Praman. We are seeing the same Mahaprabhu, but we are not chanting like that. Huh? We are seeing the same Mahaprabhu. Oh, because you are seeing that he is wooden. That is right. He, can, he is not saying, not seeing what you are doing. So we should do hot nonsense. He will not say. See, that is why. When you see like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Jagannath, who then? And what he told? Oh, Bhajandananda. And he began to dance and sing in his Oh, those who have such a bhakti, they should, uh, they must be qualified by these qualities. Hmm? Kripalu. Kripalu means very merciful to all. Akritro, if anyone is any, doing animal something, oh, he never do like that. Like Duryodhan always used to kill Pandavas, but Maharaj, Dharmaraj Maharaj, he, oh, Duryodhan, not Duryodhan, he was Mahabhagavan. Satyasa, Satyasa means who has known that Krishna is only Satya, Parma Satya, Sri Satya, Satya Sajoni, and Nirdosh, not any. Any no fault, no fault, nothing. Badanya, very, very and Madhu, very mild, mild, uh, soft hearted. If you will see that anyone is very unhappy in this Maya, that is why his heart melts and he tells, oh, I want to a glass of water. No thirst. Even, oh, I want to take some food. Oh, this is. Shruti, always pure. Akinchan, only kinchan. Only his wealth is Krishna, nothing but me thinks. Nothing. They should try to be like all qualities. 
सब उपकार कृष्ण इज माई सेवर हे इज माई एवरी थिंग सो वाई टू वर्क इफ एनी वन टेकिंग दिल्टर ऑफ कृष्ण एंड वेन एनी थिंग कम सफरिंग और एनी थिंग देन ओ शेर मी शेर मी माई फादर माई डॉटर माई वाइफ एंड दिस इज नॉट ओके अकाम नो वर्डली डिजायर ओ Miri her, not wanting anything. He has conquered all his senses, and in this way, Gambhir Karuna Maestra Kabi Daksha Mohan all these things. So, if we see these qualities in a Vaishno, then we should know that he is Uttam Adhikari. So, all the go good qualities are in. Vaishnav, if you see that something is wrong is there, you can decide that he is not pure Vaishnav, or he may be Vaishnav. Hmm. Then Mahaprabhu telling Krishna Bhakti Janamul Hai Sadhu Sangha, huh? but how Sadhu Sangha? भक्ति भक्ति भगवत संगे इफ एन वी आर डूइंग एनी साधु संग बट नॉट चेंजिंग दैट थिंग देर इज लू फॉल इन मी और टू होम आई एम थिंकिंग हिज वॉइस नाउ बट रियली हिज नॉट वॉइस नाउ इफ इज नॉट रियली वॉइस नाउ Are you thinking that voice now? Then bhakti will not come. So he is telling, "Asa sangatyaar, a voice now atyaar, istri sangi, a kasadhu Krishna bhaktaar." If you want to be a pure devotee, asa sangatyaar, you should give up the association of bad association. One is Maya Badi, and other is those who have attachment, attachment to opposite, opposite senses, section. For ladies, gents, and gents, both, we should be very careful. Especially Maya has come in the in the. Form of ladies, beautiful ladies. Ladies are always beautiful in all sects. Even in you can see cows, all species, all the species. Ladies are there. Or they have no this mess. They are and and they are very beautiful. <laughs> so they they can attract oh these males very easily and make make them oh what oh like dog. Even <laughs> dog is and very very uh, wise, intelligent. He has no shame at all for that. All world hates her him, and he says, "Oh, I am what I am doing. Perfect, Perfect. nothing. <laughs> so we should give up all these things. Then Solin Saran Laya Kare Krishna Atma Samarpan." कृष्ण तारे करे आत्म सर इज शरणागत एंड अकिंचन शरणागत मीन्स है फाइव क्वालिटीज 
six, 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 if anyone is Saranagar and there he, he, what? Surrender. Surrender. Then he become like Akinchan. So being Akinchan, we should try to serve Krishna. Then Krishna will be pleased very much. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling, oh, I have told so many things. What is bhakti? What is pure bhakti? What are the symptoms of shuddha bhakta, uttam bhakta, madhyam and kanishtha adhikari? I have told you. Now I want to tell what is sadhan bhakti. What are we are doing? It is not sadhan bhakti. Sravanam, kirtanam, vishnu, smaranam, padasevanam, archanam, bandhanam, sakham, atmani vedanam, sadhu sangha, nama kirtan sa. We are doing, but even it is not sadhan bhakti, you should know. What is sadhan bhakti? If you are doing Sravan Kirtan to obtain bhav or rati, then it is sadhan bhakti, you must know. Otherwise not. Do you want? Rati or Bhav and to attain what we will do for your Indriya, senses. senses, then, but what is Sadhan? Oh, Nitya Siddha, Krishna Premini Siddha, but now it is in Latin stage. Then, Latin stage, and then Guru what does? Oh, it water and sun uh, embracing, and by that that Nitya Siddha Prem, who was latent in the heart of devotee, it will come a sprout and two leaves, then four leaves, six leaves, Manjari will come. <laughs> What are two leaves? Klesavni, Subhada. All kinds of your suffering, problems will go away when you do this bhakti. Certainly they will go. If not going, then you should think that you are not properly. So you must do like that. And second, Subhada. All kinds of soup, all will come. And then second two leaves, moksha, lavutaku. Then you will think, oh, moksha is nothing, bogus. Like this too, we should give up. Nonsense only accept moksha. Any wise person cannot. So, and from especially Raganuga Bhakti and then Ragatmik Bhakti, Sudurlabha, rare yeah. in this world. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Sandha Anandatmaka. Oh, very, very deep love and affection, prem comes, always sinking in the ocean of love and affection. Sandha Anandat, Visheshatma, that is Rati comes. This is the symptom. Shuddha Sattva, Visheshatma. Oh, what is that? Define. Om <laughs> <laughs> 
through the forest at night to meet with Sri Krishna. This service is Abhisar Seva. So all of these are Anukul, favorable services. So when Bhav comes, the heart melts with this intense anxiety and intense desire, a hankering to render those very favorable services. And the third type of taste is called, it's not so hard to remember. It's called So Hard Abhilas. So it's not so hard to remember. So Hard Abhilas means the hankering for Surig Bhav. That means very intimate friendship. In other words, when one renders the favorable services, then one's uh, beloved Radha and Krishna, they will accept one into their very intimate association and bestow their anugraha, all their mercy and kindness upon one. So, Bhav is not of this world, it is of Vishuddha Sattva, transcendental essence of Samvit and Ladini, and it touches the heart like a ray of the sun of frame and causes the heart to melt in the form of these three types of hankering, Abhilas, then that is called uh, Bhava Uchate, that is called Bhava Bhakti. And Thank when you. we hear, chant, and remember to attain that, only then our hearing, chanting, and remembering can be called actually Sadhana Bhakti. Thank you. In other words, very easy words, you can understand what is how. The mood of Ragatmi Bhakta, Sridam and Subal. The mood of Nandvaba Jasoda, Motherly Hood. And the mood of Gopis, especially of Radhika. In Radhika, highest mood. If anyone hearing Harikatha from Srimad Bhagavatam, or any high class of Uttam Adhikari Vaishnava, he will think, think that I should serve Krishna like Sudama and Sridama, especially Subal, Madhumanga. And another any devotee, he thinks that hearing the sweet pastimes of Nanda and Baba, how controlling them, Oh, I want to serve Krishna like Nanda Baba and Jashoda. And someone not satisfying by this, oh, how gopis, especially Radhika, controlled by his love, Krishna. So that mood is called Suddha Sattva. If anyone will smarn Krishna, Remember Krishna and his associates like this, especially remembering associates like gopis, like Rupamanjari especially. And then the Suddha Sattva from them kindly will come in his devotee. This is Suddha Sattva. And this Sudha Sattva, by the association of Narjarishi and anyone in the line of Rupa Goswami, very rasik and tattvagya, it can come in also praying. But when Prem will come, this body will cannot tolerate, so he will have to give up this body and transcendental body which is inside, it will appear. appear. Mm -hmm. And then by that, what will come? By the Ashosha. Prem. What is Prem? You know? Prem? <laughs> what meaning? The definition of frame that there are three slokes are there. 
the Gurudev told that the best one, Sarvatha dhangsa rahitam, yadgati dhangsa karane, yadbhava bandhanam juno, saprema parikirtita. Sarvatha dhangsa rahitam. In this mundane world, if opposite sex meet together, then there is something they get lost. But if divine couple, they meet together, they never got any loss. Just like Gurudev gave an example in this tour, the Ras Lila. This is the conquer against Kamdev, against Cupid. How come? When Krishna was making Ras dance with all gopis, all are extremely beautiful. Especially Sivati Radhika, much less beautiful. And only Krishna is male and all are female. Time is night time and spring time, not hot, not cold. And full moon is on the sky, gentle breeze is blowing and bank of Jamuna. No other two watch them. They are meeting together, Krishna is there, but there is no transformation in Krishna's mind or not in the transformation of Gopi's mind. So Sarvatha Dhamsa Laitam, Yadati Dhamsa Karane. There is causes for to be destroyed. That in the mundane world, if such kind of involvement and one, if young and another young lady meet together, what will be? They bound to captured by Cupid. But Krishna not captured by Cupid. This is, is conquered over Cupid. Sarvatha Dhamsa Laitam, Yadati Dhamsa Karane. Yad bhava bandhanam juno. This is the mood by which mood they are come by tied together. This is called frame. It is only possible in transcendental world, not in this mundane world. This is the best definition of frame. Another definition Anantam Ananda Mamata Vishnu Mamata Prima Sangata Bhakti Chate Vishma Pralada Dava Naradai. Ananda Mamata Vishnu. Ananda Mamata means one pointed possessiveness or minus. To whom? Ananda Mamata Vishnu. Vishnu means who is everywhere. So why Vishnu? Vishnu means Narayan and Bhaman, Trivikram, etc. Well, no. Who Vishnu? Vikriditam Rajabaduvi Hidancha Vishnu. Who is playing always with Raj Gopis? That Vishnu. Who is Vishnu? That Prajananda and Samsundar. So Ananda Mamata Vishnu must be one pointed possessiveness towards him. That Vishnu. Ananda Mamata Vishnu. Ananda Prema Sangata. Mamata Prema Sangata. This possessiveness will come with mixed with frame. Then if this type of Mamata is there, Bhakti Ruchate Vishma Pralladadhava Narodai. Our, among the other Mahajan, Puyar Mahajan is there, among the among Puyar one is Bhishma Dev, Bhakti Ruchate Bhishma and Prahlad and Uddha and Narad, they are telling this is Prem Bhakti, not Sadhan, neither Sadhan Bhakti, not Bhav Bhakti, this is Prema Bhakti. Ah, thank you. Another Hare Krishna. Sambhav Bhakti Nidha Sambhav you can compare with the sloka of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In Sikhastak last, Asli Sava Padratan, Pinatulan Adatana Karotva, any Sakhi is telling Radhika, oh, don't uh, forget Krishna, and you should not have any relation with Krishna. Krishna is very cheater, very dhotsa, and very cruel also. Oh, give him in your front, he is telling that, oh, you are much beloved. And other gopis, he goes to Chandravali and others, then he tells, oh, oh, you are my dear beloved. So don't have any relation. Then Radhika is telling this is low. Ashli Sva Padra, whether he impressed me, and whether he is, what? 
crushing me by his feet. Whether he is lumpet, lumpet means going to other ladies. Even he is my most beloved. So this is. Huh? So, um, up to this, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told about first part, he told about Vaidhi Bhakti. If anyone doing bhakti, in the end, highest and highest he will have as what the frame in Vaikuntha, not more than that. And if anyone by Raganuga, by the following the Gopi, Nand Baba Jasoda Sidam Sural, they will have great bhakti, highest. And those who will always serve and follow Rupa Goswami, or oh, they will be highest position. And our aim and object is that Radha Dashtam in the guidance of Srila Rupa Goswami. Gaur Pramananda. You should be ready after that, Kirtan. Sure, no?